It turned out to be a gorgeous day across the area. We did kick off the day with some sunshine, but we saw those clouds start to make their way in as we got into the afternoon. Clouds still sticking around the area this evening, but no active weather through the overnight hours. We will stay fairly quiet. This is a quick check of your camera in Poplar Bluff. We don't see that chance for rain making its way into the area until we get to tomorrow. So enjoy this warm, dry weather while it's around. We still have temperatures in the mid 50s across the area and some of us in the upper 50s. We've got Paducah coming in at 58 degrees, Marion at 57, Cape Girardeau, Sykeston and Mount Vernon all coming in at 54 degrees. Threat tracker bar is going to be staying low tonight. We are tracking the warm temperatures. Those winds will be picking up out of the south. That's going to keep us warm through the overnight hours, but that chance for rain will work its way into the area by the time we get to tomorrow. So a few light scattered showers will be around throughout the day on Tuesday, and then we see those rain chances really start to pick up as we get into Wednesday. Heavy rain and some thunder going to be likely by the time we get to the middle of the week. So just feeling more and more like spring every day. As of right now, not a whole lot of activity showing up, but we do have our next cold front just off to our west. That'll be working its way in from the northwest by the time we get to tomorrow morning. So by tomorrow morning, you may have to turn on your windshield wipers if you're going to be out and about tomorrow, but not talking substantially heavy rain. Here comes the cold front early on Tuesday morning. As it pushes through, we're talking scattered showers throughout the entire day on Tuesday that cold front pushes off to the south and the rain sticks with us and then we see that lift back as a warm front by the time we get to Wednesday. Now as this front lifts back to the north, that's when we see the better chance for some of that heavy rain making its way through the region, especially as we get into Wednesday afternoon and evening. So lots of activity to watch this week. As far as the heaviest rainfall, it does look like it'll be focused just off to the western half of the viewing area. This is a look at the next three days. Higher rainfall amounts likely going to be between two and three inches of rain and on top of the already wet ground there is that potential for some localized flooding. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that over the course of the next couple of days. You can track all of this on that storm track three app right there on your phone. The positive side of all of this is it is going to at least stay warm through the rainy conditions. Average high temperatures for this time of year come in at 45 degrees and through the next couple of days, even as it's raining, we're still climbing up into the mid to upper 50s for high temperatures. After all of the activity moves out Friday and into Saturday, we will be dipping back down into the 40s, which is cooler, but not bad for February. And then we rebound very quickly. By the time we get back to the weekend on Sunday and into Monday next week, we are already back up into the 50s. So this is great for February weather. No kidding. It is still February, isn't That's it? That's right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. All right. Thank you, JC.